Welcome to Exchange Server Administration, finalizing the migration and testing the mail flow. As you have seen that mail flow with the edge server requires a additional setting for receive connector on edge server. And right now the mail flow is going through the on-premises exchange organization. Therefore exchange online protection is completely safe. So I want to show you how we can rerun the exchange hybrid configuration wizard and change the setting. So in this video we will rerun the hybrid configuration wizard. We will set the mail flow with client access server instead of edge. We will test the mail flow from internal and external users. And finally, we can update our DNS MX record for secure mail flow via Exchange Online. So let's move to the server and get started. So right now we are on our Exchange server and I have triggered the Exchange Configuration Wizard. So let's click on Next. It has detected the optimal Exchange server that is EX02 2019. And I will go with the option Office 365 Worldwide and will click on Next. Here it has a on-premises credential and let me put the credential for Office 365. Let me put the password. I have verified the both the account on-premises and exchange online. Let me click on next. Now gathering configuration information has been succeeded. Let me click on next. And here we will do the full hybrid configuration and we'll click on next. I will use the exchange classic hybrid topology and we'll click on next. Last time we configured it with the edge. This time I will configure it with the client access and mailbox server for secure mail transport. So let me click on next. This is my EX02. That is the mailbox server. This is for the receive connector. I will use EX02 2019. We'll click on next and for the send connector, I will choose the same server EX02 2019. We'll click on next. And now it's loading the certificates. I will use this certificate techiejack.live. Let's click on next. And here we have a domain. So let me click on next and update. Now it says hybrid services are now configured between exchange online in your office 365 tenant and your on-premises exchange environment. It says congratulations. So let me click on close. If you see here the mail flow and inside the send connector, I have disabled this edge sync because exchange online protection is quite safe. We don't want to use the edge sync now. If you see the recipient, you can see the jack is inside the Office 365 and layer is inside the on-premises. So let's try to test the mail flow between on-premises and exchange online. Right now our MX record is pointing to our on-premises exchange. This is a Larry mailbox. Let's try to send an email to Jack and we'll click on send. If I go to the Jack mailbox, you can see the mail from the Larry. We have received that. And if I reply it, let's see if it goes through or not. I say received and we'll send it back to the Larry. Let's go to the Larry mailbox and check it. We have received the mail on the Larry mailbox that is from Office 365. This confirms that our mail flow between the exchange online and on premises is working fine. Let's try to test to send an email to the outside domain. I will send it to my Gmail testing and I will send it to Gmail. You can see that we have received the mail on the Gmail and if I reply got it. Let's see if we receive the email here or not. Now you can see that we have got the email. This came from the Gmail. So our outbound mail is also working fine. Now if I try to send an email to Gmail through the on-premises mailbox and I will send to that same address. I will say testing on-prem. We'll click on send. You can see the on-prem email address also have sent email to Gmail successfully. So let me reply it worked and we'll send back to the Larry. Now if you see this mail, it worked. We have received the mail from Gmail. So our external email is also working fine and our internal mail is also working fine. And if you see the online exchange admin center inside the mail flow, if you see the accepted domain, I have set techiejack.live as an internal relay. So you have to do that setting. And in the on-premises, if we go to the accepted domains, so all the domain names are authoritative. If you are planning for a long coexistence, you can use these settings. But if you are not planning for a long coexistence, you can rerun the hybrid configuration wizard. You can synchronize your all the users to the Office 365 and migrate the mailboxes to them. If I go to the domain inside the Microsoft 365 admin center, you can see the possible service issues. So it is due to the DNS record. If we go to the DNS record, so once you perform the cutover migration and migrated your all the mailboxes to the Office 365, you can change the MX record and CNAME record in your DNS. Once you do that, you will have a secure mail flow via Exchange Online. 
I hope the video was useful and by completing this we have completed our migration task and the exchange administration course is completed. In case of any confusion or any query you can contact to the email address info at techiecheck.com. Thank you very much for watching the course.